RIT is a, it's a great school, it's nationally recognized. Every time we step on the ice, we're trying to work towards an NCAA title. The RIT hockey program took another significant step forward in 2010 as the Tigers advanced to the NCAA Division I Frozen Four. We go to Detroit in the Frozen Four, play in front of 35,000 fans, just unbelievable. The support from everyone at RIT and our team coming together, it was a great, great experience, great feeling, never forget it. RIT's incredible 09-10 season included a record 28 victories, the Atlantic Hockey regular season and playoff championships, and then two NCAA tournament victories over Denver and New Hampshire that sent the Tigers to the Frozen Four, where they fell to Wisconsin in the national semifinals. Playing uh, first place Denver in the WCHA and then first place UNH in the Hockey East and knocking them both off was uh, just a, an unbelievable accomplishment and uh, very, very gratifying uh, for us as a staff, uh, a team, and, and a university and a community in Rochester. Making it to the Frozen Four gives us a sense of accomplishment of the hard work that uh, the assistants and, and, and everyone puts in. Uh, our administration and, and uh, trying to support our program and, and achieving its goals. The Tigers play in the growing 12-team Atlantic Hockey Association, a conference that includes Air Force and Holy Cross, and newcomers Niagara and Robert Morris. Over the last two seasons, RIT has also scored impressive non-conference victories, defeating strong programs like Minnesota and Cornell. The talented Tigers are also receiving individual honors. Simone Lambert was a Hobie Baker finalist in 2008. This year, Dan Ringwald was a U.S. CHO All-American, headlining a host of 2010 honors. So I'm very thankful for what I've accomplished at RIT, and I'm very proud that I could be part of a growing tradition. Every single year, our goal is to make the NCAA tournament, and I think now the goal is going to be to win the national championship, and, and the sky's the limit for RIT. The Tigers' home ice is Frank Ritter Arena. Each game is the event on campus, and every game is jam-packed with enthusiastic Tiger fans. It's a lot of excitement. The uh, student section is very into the game. The band's playing, uh, the corner crew's uh, yelling and screaming, uh, uh, the music's going. It's, de it's definitely an experience. It makes it fun to play. In. The loudest rink that uh, I've ever been. They really spur you on. Uh, uh, they're unmatched. Tiger home games are also televised regionally. RIT's second home is Rochester's Blue Cross Arena. More than 7,000 fans, a Tiger home record, watched RIT take on Colgate in October 2009. The arena is also home to the Atlantic Hockey Playoffs. RIT's hockey history spans nearly five decades. During that time, the Tigers have made 13 trips to the NCAA playoffs, winning two national championships before moving to Division I. Located in Greater Rochester, New York, RIT is the 12th largest private university in the United States and has eight leading colleges with internationally recognized programs. Our professors have awesome hands-on world experience and they can provide us with some academic background as well as some corporate background. It's been an awesome experience here, um, both the hockey and the academic side and the social side. Um, you know, I've made a lot of friends here. The professors are great. They uh, help you out a lot. They're always willing to uh, be there for you if you need any help. A lot of hands-on opportunities. Uh, there's also a co-op program, which I used to, uh, this summer. I did a co-op here uh, working for Kodak. Um, gave me a real-world experience, helped to expand my resume. The vibrant campus and surrounding area continues to improve with more options for student living. The athletic facilities feature the new Gordon Fieldhouse with an indoor track, an aquatic center, and the state-of-the-art Weedman Fitness Center, while the hockey team also uses the Varsity Fitness Center, which is connected to the hockey arena. Wayne Wilson is the winningest coach in RIT's proud hockey history. The Guelph, Ontario native was named the 2010 Spencer Penrose Division I National Coach of the Year. We're strong, we're going after it. 
Watch it's a W. We like to play an upbeat style. We want to make things happen. I think I have a good understanding what it's like to be away from home for the first time. I'd like to consider myself as a very positive coach and push them still uh, to be their best, but uh, be as positive as possible. Our players are, are really great representatives of what RIT has to offer, not only in their majors, but uh, great representatives of RIT when we're on the road and we're traveling and wearing the school colors. Uh, uh, they're tremendous. The tradition of success on and off the ice continues at the Rochester Institute of Technology.